Well, we are back at the farm. Well, not our farm, but a farm that was made back in the 1900s. And we're gonna take a tour of this farm. This farm, this house here, this farmhouse, was made by the Davis family. And it was completed in the year 1900. It took them two years to make this house. Let's take a tour of the farm. So we're ready to tour the farm? sons helped him build this house even though they were really small at that time they actually went and got the stone from the creek to uh, to build the chimneys even the young ones were working on the house so this is their kitchen so the mom would have cooked over the fire in here. You see the cast iron pot? She would have used those to cook. And there's her utensils. That gourd right there, they probably grew, and then they used that for water. And they didn't have running water, so they would have to bring buckets of water in here and use it. And there's her butter churn over there. This is a pretty neat orchard they have here of apples. It says this tree is a pilot apple tree and it was first originated in 1830s at the base of Pilot Mountain in Northern Virginia. See the apples there? Yeah. Right there? On the ear? And up there? They look delicious, don't they? Tree. You could. Yeah. <laughs> so right here is a corn crib. And back then, almost every farm had a corn crib. The corn fed the livestock. They fed the humans. They ate it both fresh and as cornmeal. And this would be in the corn crib is where they would store the corn. So let's look inside there. What it is, is you would put your dried corn in there and run it through and all these little knobs in there would take the... Husk uh, off. Not the husk, the, the kernels off. You think you could pull this? You think you could pull this? What if I attach it right to your back? And you pulled it. And Sailor sat right up here and said, go, go, Josiah, go. Yeah. You think you could do it? She'd say, what would you say? Yeah, horsey. Yeah. <laughs> so not completely sure what they would use this for, but what we think they would do is they would hook this up right here to the horse. And then the farmer would, would sit right up here and the plowman would just, or not the plowman, it would be, we would think, we think that they would use it for hay, but we'll have to check on that soon. For gathering hay. They would use this to basically gather hay. And right here is where they would stack the hay. Bang! Look at that turkey. Close it again. There goes that turkey! And this is one of their barns. See, it's huge, made with really good wood. Whoa, look at there. You know what? They didn't have power tools back then. They didn't have the skill saws and the drills to put all this together. You know what? They had to cut this stuff, the trees down by hand, and they put this whole thing together by hand. 
You see how they notched the wood? It looks like And they fit together like a puzzle? It looks like a T-Rex too. It would cost a lot of money to have somebody do this by hand nowadays. Look at that plow. Two of them. Think you could man that plow? There are three. There's three. Right in here is the wood shingles for the roof. So they made all these shingles up here. Did it by hand. You wanna hop in there with the pigs? No. <laughs> You want to get in the mud bath? Let's get in the mud bath. Josiah, tell me about the pigs. What do they use the mud over there for? Cooling down. Good job. Pigs use the mud, get in the mud to cool down. Why do they do that? Don't sweat. Because they don't have sweat glands? No. So they use the mud to stay cool. So the use the pigs, even though we don't eat pig meat, they use the pigs for a number of different things. They use the pigs because they're easy to raise. They can eat almost anything, so they're really easy to raise. They didn't require a lot of work and a lot of feed to keep them alive. But they would eat the meat. They would also use the fat for making soap and lard to cook their food in. So the pig was a, a big, a big staple or a big animal on an old homestead, just like this. So right here is a blacksmith shop. Do you know what a blacksmith is? Yes, you do. You know what a blacksmith is? Your uncle is one. You didn't know that? Blacksmith is someone who works with metal. They take metal and they shape it with the, when it's being hot and they shape it into horseshoes and all kinds of different tools that they would have used on the farm back then. Even to make little things like this. The hinges for the door. Made of metal. Yep, horseshoes. Yep. Kids, on our farm, we have a pump house. And the pump house is where we have, is right over the well where we get the water from. Back then, they didn't have that. They had what here is called a spring house. So this is where they would get their water from. This natural spring would come up and they have this housing over it. And they would also use it to refrigerate some of the food. Does that sound cool? Yeah, so this would, be, this would be where they would get their water from, the, from the spring house. This one's fresh wood, this one's old. What does it mean by fresh? Like this one was like a few days ago or something. Yeah. And this one was really old. Like, yeah, that one's older. This one's more, this wood has time to age with the weather, and this one's not as old. Good job. And here is their apple house. They used apples to make a number of things. They ate the apples raw, they made apple cider, they made apple cider vinegar, they made apple sauce, apple butter, and even apple pies. In the summer, they would store the apples in the higher section here, and then in the winter time, they would store it down here where the block would, and the block and the rock would be good insulation to keep everything cool and at the temperature that they would need to be in. So here is their chicken house. Let's take a look inside. Dun, 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 dun. Wow. So this doesn't look much different from the chicken coops and the chicken houses that a lot of farms use today. I know we use on our farm uh, movable tractors and chicken coops, but back then they had chicken houses and they would let the chickens just kind of roam. These are the neck nesting boxes. And what do they use the nesting boxes for, Josiah? The eggs. Yeah, that's where they lay their eggs. So those bars right there, the, the woods, that, the, the, piece, the branches of wood that they have there, those are what we call roosting bars. They get up there and that's where they go to sleep. All right, kids, take a look at this building right over here. You see that building right over there? See that? What is that? An outhouse. What do you do in an outhouse? Use the restroom. Yep. Back then, they didn't have their bathrooms inside. They had to go outside to use the restroom. And that would be where they'd use it. 
So does anyone need to use the restroom? Come on, come on. <laughs> Pardon me, I'm gonna use the outhouse. Just kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. And this is the meat house. One of my favorite houses is where they keep the meat. So here's where they would store the meat. I told you back there they didn't have refrigeration. So they would store the meat by smoking it and also using salt to preserve it. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Oh. Oh. Well, we try to keep things positive on the vlog, but life happens. And right now, life is definitely happening to us. We're having issues with our van. We're supposed to be going home, but we're having problems with the van. It is overheating. We put coolant in it, and then Lady Lacey just had coolant spray all over her. See? <laughs> Fun times. And you know what? Today's Sunday. And we're having problems finding a mechanic that help us out. Oh. 